Drunk hallucinations. He he called you guys for no reason. Do you want us to talk to him? He's 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 seeing stuff that's not there. You, do you think you need an ambulance? The, every time I take him to the hospital, yeah, they release him. I mean, is he just drunk or is he? He's having or? alcohol withdrawal hallucinations. He was a severe alcoholic. He hasn't had alcohol in four days. He's going through hallucinations from withdrawal. He's not being violent. Right no, now. he's just seeing stuff that's not there and then hearing voices in his head. He's in his bedroom on the way back. What's his name? Uh, Earl. Okay. You call us, my man? Mm. You need some help? What are you doing? Huh? 248 North 8th Street. 24. Yeah, ambulance. Someone get the phone. We're gonna have an ambulance come check you out, my man. Make sure you're okay. <sighs> Looks like you're having some kind of problem. Very peaceful music. What's up, bud? Yeah, get you some water. Yeah, yeah, man, we can get you some water. How long does he drink? He's very heavy. He goes to probably like three or four fifths a day plus beer, and he, he's trying to go sober. He hasn't had alcohol in three days, so since he ain't had alcohol in three days, he hasn't slept in three days. And this is what he goes through. It's, it's psychosis from alcohol withdrawals. He, he hallucinates. I would imagine if he does that have you a drinker. Yeah. You want to take it to him? You want yeah. to take it? Oh, well, there's your water. water. Maybe just set it down, I guess. He actually actually had treatment somewhere yeah, for it. We took him to the hospital multiple times and mm -hmm. tried to get him held at least on a psych evaluation. And they tell me they can't hold him against his will. So they release him. I mean, the problem is, is with the hospitals, like, you know how many people we have in town who are homeless or whatever who are just, they're not right upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. But we can't force them to stay at the hospital. The hospital yeah. can't force them there unless yeah. exigent circumstances for whatever, but. Yeah. I just say keep trying. Yeah. See, see if somewhere in Bloomington or Champaign. We thought it was intoxication, but it's the opposite. It's having withdrawals from alcohol, these psychosis. He's, he's all over the floor and all over the bed and everything. He's 35, was born in March, but we don't have an exact birthday. Earl! What's your birthday, man? Adam, you Hey, it's your birthday. Earl, sit up. Sit up. You know what? I am not playing. Come on, Earl. Let's, let's sit up. Come on, man. What happened? Oh, Seriously. Stop. Stop. Sit up. Sit up. Now. I am not playing with you tonight. Sit up. What is your birthday? You're All gonna right. have to walk because we ain't carrying you. So let's let's get up on your feet. Cause I am seriously not in the mood for this dumb. Tomorrow, oh, 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 get you some help, bud. Let's take the coat with him. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it on. I got your coat. Come on. Sweating oh. bullets. Nope. Nope. We're not doing that. We're we're gonna, the only way we're going to get you is if we walk through the house. Come on, Earl. You're not dead weight. Maybe we are. Get up. Or you can stay here. Yeah, we're almost there. Come on, Earl, man. You got you to gotta help us out a little bit. Don't go negative. Come on, buddy. Now get up on there, man. Come on, get up on there, old bud. They can't get you there if you don't get on the cot. Get up on there, Earl. It's a bed on wheels. 
All right, Earl, this is getting a little silly, man. Here you go. There we go. Saints, apparently. Thanks. Two paramedics, Peter Cadigan and Peggy Finley, now behind bars facing first-degree murder charges after prosecutors allege the care they provided a patient may have killed him. The autopsy found Moore died from asphyxia, directly linked to the face-down position Cadigan and Finley put him in on the stretcher.